Hey guys, Gears of War Trophy Room. Ooh, I like that idea. Now, me, I'd like an idea. Well, I'd like a little option. Startup screen or somewhere in the game where I could actually, like, you know, here's a broomock. I cut it off in the story mode. I could change it into a latrine or something. You know, open the door, there's a latrine. You know, cut its head off, so on and so forth. Now, you should be able to change the floor, the wall, the ceiling. You know, a broomock skin rug. Wham! All over the floor. Or, say, uh, the doors, for example. Make it to where uh, the spinal cord of a drone or the helmet, you know. They will. Now, windows. Um, my windows, murals, so on and so forth. Should have, like, custom glass things to where you can just put, like, your character chainsawing a locust. Or uh, the one shot or the hammer of dawn firing and killing, like, a bunch of drones. You know. Your own castle, you know. Customize the way you want. Now, the bathroom. Mm, I don't see Gears doing that. I mean... Duke Nukem? Yes. Gears? Uh. Now, the statues. You should be able to have, like, a thousand different types of statues. You know, just plant them here, there, wherever you want. Like, Loki's on this side, Gears on the other. You know, just be a badass. Now, the throne room. Ooh. You should be able to sit on your own throne. Like, 50 or 60 corpse throne statues. At the bottom, here you are sitting on your throne. Even though the, you know, statues of the drones... Uh, Theron Guards, Cantuses, so on. To be right down here, you just... Here's the top of the floor. Maybe see through. Here's all the drones down here. And here's your throne. Well, whoop! Here's your throne. Or you could rise it above, make it like 50 feet in the air. I mean, you should be able to customize your place the way you want. Ooh. I put a broomock, uh, probably as one of the walk-in statues, or a hammer beam is coming straight down and hitting a sucker. On both sides, you know? One here, one here, hammered on. Just as you walk in, you see that. Ooh. And of course, that's just what I like. Uh, or you could have a couple one-shots where Cog or using one-shots, here comes the Berserker, and you just have the statues just placed like this. Here comes the Berserker, and it just shows a nice little epic scene. You can place them on tiles. You can, you know, just be a badass with it. I would like to, oh, I don't know, have, you know, their on guard helmets. And here's a chandelier, 15 different lights, helmets of the Theron Elite on every single one of them. Have it spin, you know, make it a nice little house of death. With a nice little light. Here's my throne. Here's the big mural. Or, yeah, window mural. And just have the light shine through upon my throne. And have the light reflect off the statues. Giving a very cool image. You know, like, I could have my lantern here, saw it off here. Of course, they never should have messed with the saw off like they did in Gears 3. Man, that pissed me off. But anyways, 
I would like to see that kind of thing, you know? Options, customization, my own throne, here's my collectibles, you know, flags flying wherever I want. Have my own bad-ass area. I mean, it'd be perfect for years. Hell, for certain statues and stuff, you have to kill enemies a certain way. A certain amount of times. Not no four to six thousand times either. It needs to have something like that. The next year's game, oh. But anyways, that's just what I see. Anyways, this is Tyler H. With another idea for Gears of War. Have a nice day, my brother Gears. And my sisters. May we saw many locusts. And double barrel many boomers. <laughs>